Another parametric test that can be used for hypothesis testing is the t-test for independent samples. When are we going to use this? We are going to use this if we wanted to test differences of two means where the data is obtained from two independent groups. And usually this is associated with small sample sizes and with equal but unknown variances. Grouping variable must be dichotomous. That means that there must be two categories in the grouping variable. Say for example, your grouping variable is based on sex. So that could be male and female. So see, independent, t-test for independent samples, gagamitin lang yan kapag ang gusto mong i-test ay difference of two means. Dalawang means na hindi siya galing from pre-test and post-test, hindi din ito galing from paired test or re repeated measures. So, these are the steps on how are we going to perform t-test for independent samples. The very first thing that we need to do is to test for the equality of variances. It is because there are different formula na gagamitin. Magkaiba yung formula kapag equal yung variances ng dalawang group and then iba din yung formula kapag hindi equal ang variances nila. So, we really need to test if the variances are equal. So, to test for equality variances, we need to set the null and alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis must be the two variances are equal and then alternative hypothesis the two variances are not equal. The test statistics, we are going to use F-test. So, para makuha natin yung critical value, we are going to use the F-table. Please remember that in the test for equality of variances, the alpha is always 5%. Even if in the problem, you are required to use 1% in the test of difference of the mean but if you are going to perform the equality of variances it is always 5% the decision criterion is you are going to reject the null if the computed value for f is greater than or equal to the critical value so the critical value titignan natin yan doon sa f table using alpha is 5% this are this is the degrees of freedom v sub 1 will be obtained by n sub l minus 1 and then c v sub 2 is obtained by ns minus 1 what is nl and what is ns nl is the sample size of the group with larger sample size and then ns is the sample size of the group with smaller sample size sometimes Meron din tayong mga problem na yung mga sample sizes ng dalawang group ay equal. Next is to compute the test statistics and that is given by the formula larger variance divided by smaller variance. We are going, the result of this will be compared to the critical value. After that one, you are going to state your decision and conclusion based on the decision criterion. Second step is... You are now going to test the difference of the two means. So, kapag na found out mo na equal yung variances, you have to use the formula na introduce ko mamaya for equal variances. And then, kapag hindi naman equal yung variances, yung gagamitin mo na formula for the test of difference is yung formula for unequal variances. So, to perform the test of difference of the two means always mag start ka na stating the null and alternative hypothesis so your null hypothesis would be the two vari the two means the group means are equal and then for alternative hypothesis it could be that the two means are not equal by the thing mean of the first group is greater than the mean of the second group or by the thing mean of the first group is lesser than the mean of the second group it depends on the problem test statistics itong dalawa nakabase yan doon sa result ng first step so you're going to use case 1 if it is equal variances and then case 2 naman kung unequal variances for the decision criterion 
Okay, please note, ang uh, itong i-present ko is for equal variances muna. So, we are going to reject the null if the absolute value of the t computed is greater than or equal to the critical value. So, alpha, this is the significant level and this one is for the degrees of freedom. So, para ma-obtain ang value nito, we are going to use the t-table. So, this is the decision criterion if we are testing if the alternative hypothesis is directional, meaning yung symbol niya ay greater than or lesser than. So, that is a one-tailed test. Now, if yung alternative hypothesis naman natin is using this symbol, not equal to, so that means that is non-directional or that leads us to use the two-tailed test. So, ito yung decision criterion. Reject the null if the absolute value of the t-computed is greater than or equal to the critical value. Paano natin ma-obtain ang critical value? That is by t sub alpha divided by 2 and then this is the degrees of freedom. N sub 1 plus N sub 2 minus 2. So, N sub 1 and N sub 2, this is the sample sizes of the two groups. Now, for unequal variances, this is the decision criterion. So, ang nag-iba lang naman dyan ay yung degrees of freedom. Si degrees of freedom for unequal variances will be obtained using this formula. So, Take note, in the formula, we have W sub 1 and W sub 2. So, ano yung W sub 1 and W sub 2? W sub 1 can be obtained by dividing the variance of the first group by its sample size. And then, si W sub 2 is the same. Yung variance for that second group will be divided by the sample size. Okay, so the next step is to compute the test statistics using this formula. If the ons first step mo ang result ay equal variances, so you are going to use this t computed. So, kung evaluate mo yung formula, ang mga values na na-involved for us to compute this t computed is yung mean ng first group, mean ng second group, and then this one is for the pooled variance. Paano natin yan ma-compute? We are going to use this formula kapag equal yung sample sizes, and then we are going to use this formula kapag hindi equal yung sample sizes. So, dito sa T-test for independent samples, we have to be very careful with the formula kasi meron tayong mga i-consider. Unang-una is kung equal ba yung variance and then kung equal ba yung mga sample sizes nila. Now, for an equal variance, si TC is computed. Ang gagamitin mo lang ay yung mean ng dalawang groups, yung variances ng dalawang groups and then the sample sizes. You are not going to use this anymore. Okay? So, these are the notation na nasa formula. Na-mention ko na yan kanina. And then, okay, so here, we are going to use this problem to illustrate paano ba yan gagamitin ang mga formula na na-present ko. Chloe is interested to know if the stress level of male students is significantly different from the female students. Do the following data provided is sufficient evidence to conclude that the stress level of students significantly differ across sex at 5% level? So this is the data or this are the scores for the male students and these are the stress scores for the female. So, the first thing that we are going to do is to test for the equality of variances. This is the null. Variances are equal and then alternative variances are not equal. We are going to use F-test at 5% level of significance. The decision criterion is we are going to reject HO if the 
F computed is greater than or equal to the critical value. So, compute muna natin tong value ni V sub 1 and V sub 2 for the degrees of freedom. Okay, our sample sizes are equal. Pareha yan sila na 10 ang nasa male, 10 din lahat ang nasa female. So, same lang yung in-expect natin na value dito. 10 minus 1, that is 9. So, therefore, ang criteria, ang critical value natin ay F 0 0.05, degrees of freedom 9 and 9. We obtain 3.18. Paano natin yan ma-obtain is we are going to look at the F table. Okay. So, i-check nyo. 5% ba ang nakalagay? So, yes. That is 9, 5%. And then, yung degrees of freedom natin ay 9 and 9. So, dito tayo mag-start 9 and then look for the intersection ni 9 and 9. So, that is 3.18. So, in case hindi nyo na-gets, meron namang guy dito. Oh. For example, daw yung Degrees of freedom ay 2 and 24. So, una mong titignan is dito sa taas for the column. So, you you use the value for 2 and then 24 yung second value. So, here. Okay. So, 3.40. And that is the same with dito. Okay. So, 340 daw. So, that is how we are going to look for the critical value. So, we are going to proceed. We are now going to compute the test statistics using this formula, larger variance. Okay. So, since uh, F computed natin, ay kailangan natin ang variance. So, dapat pala, i-compute muna natin yung variance. So, here, sa example ko, yes, inobtain ko na lahat yung mga importanteng values. Unang-una, si sample size. Sample size ng male, sample size ng female, parehong 10. Itotal mo yan, yung mga values na ito, that is 29.7. Bakit? Kasi gagamitin ko yan in solving for the mean. And then, you get the total for the scores ni female, that is 25.15 divided by 10. So, this is now the mean for female. And then, si variance, uh, I am assuming that you know how to compute variance because this was introduced in our previous lesson. So, you review how to solve for variance. This is the variance for male and a variance for female. So, you have to input here or... Just substitute it to the formula. Larger variance. So, saan yung mas malaki dyan? Si 0.5291 divided by the smaller variance which is 0.4994. And then, we obtain a value of 1.059 for our F computed. So, to decide, since the computed value for f is lesser than the critical value 3.18 so we cannot reject ho we are going to accept ho so therefore our conclusion is the two variances are equal so what does this mean this result dictates us to use the formula for equal variances in the test of difference okay so, our next step is to test the difference. This is to answer the main problem. Kung equal ba yung mean ni male and female. So, our null hypothesis should be the mean stress scores of the male and female students are equal. Alternative hypothesis is the mean stress score of the male and female students are not equal. Okay. So, the test statistics... That is t-test for independent samples using equal variances na mga formula. Our level of significance is 5%. Nakastate yan doon sa problem. And then, for us to decide, we are going to use this decision criterion. Reject the null if the absolute value of the t-computed is greater than or equal to T sub alpha divided by 2. Bakit? Kasi non-directional yung alternative hypothesis natin. Not equal to yung nakalagay doon sa alternative hypothesis. 
we have 2.101. Paano yan? We use the T table. So, ito yung degrees of freedom. Yung sample size ng first group plus sample size ng second group minus 2. So, this is 18. Ito naman, kung i-divide natin, that is 0 0.025. So, dapat sa T table, makikita natin ang 2.101. So, T-table. Ayan. Check natin. So, ito yung alpha. 0 0.025. And then, yung degrees of freedom natin ay 18. Okay. So, correct. 2.101. Next, balik tayo doon sa ting slide. We are now going to compute the test statistics. Using this formula, since equal variances man, solve muna natin yung pooled variance. Si pooled variance ay masosolve using the formula for equal sample sizes. So in case, halimbawa, ang, ang female natin ay merong 15, so yung gagamitin mo na formula for the pooled variance is yung unequal sample size. Okay, so si pooled variance ay maobtain yan. Kung i-add mo ang Variance ng first group plus the variance of the second group divided by 2. Okay, ito lang yon. Variance of the first group, variance of the second group, we add, then divided by 2. So, this is the result. So, to solve the test, t-computed, mean ng first group, that is 2.927, mean ng second group, 2.515, and then ang pooled variance mo is this one, and then, n sub 1 is 10, n sub 2 is 10. Okay, ano yung una mong gagawin? You have to subtract these two values. Ang result niyan ay this one. And then, 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10, that is 2 over 10. Multiply mo yan ngayon sa pulled variance. So, ito na yung maging result. Take the square root. Square root of 0.10285 is ito yon. So, after that one is masolve mo na yung t-computed. I-divide mo itong dalawa na mga value. So, we approximately have a value of t-computed as 1.285. Next, finally, we can now have our decision. I-compare natin yung t-computed sa ating critical value. Since, ang... Um, test statistics natin or ang t-computed natin ay 1.284 that is lesser than compared to 2.101 diba? The t-computed 1.284 is lesser than the critical value 2.101 so therefore we cannot reject the HO but rather we are going to accept the HO. So our conclusion would be the mean stress score of male and female students are equal. So yung Stress level ni male and female ay hindi nagkaiba. Same lang sila ng stress level. So, the gender is, kung i-compare natin ang stress level ng mga students, hindi siya nagva-vary when in terms of their gender.